My name is Wade Smith, Superintendent for Walla Walla Public Schools, and this is the April Pulse. It goes without saying how saddened we all are to learn of yet another school tragedy, this time taking place at a private school in Nashville, where three elementary school students and three adults lost their lives. Unfortunately, there have been 376 school shootings since the Columbine High School incident in 1999. And as appears to be the case at the Covenant School, despite enhanced safety and lockdown measures and swift first responder action, innocent loss of life still occurred. This is maddening and frustrating, not only for school leaders, but for the parents of over 50 million students who attend one of our nation's public or private schools every day. This recent tragedy reminds us how important our see something, hear something, say something efforts are. In nearly every one of the 300 plus school incidents that have occurred over the last 20 years, there were usually warning signs that went unreported. Remember that our school maintains a safe schools tip line where anyone can anonymously report concerns via phone, email, text, or through the web. These reports are immediately reviewed and responded to as a district and we maintain strong partnerships with our city and county first responders. To learn more about the reporting features, visit our website and click the safe schools tip line link. At the recent school board meeting, coaches, parents and staff presented to the board a comprehensive report on the conditions of our outdoor athletic and activity facilities, an analysis they have been working on since 2019. Their report reviewed current outdoor amenities across district secondary schools, research on league and regional facilities, and preliminary improvements necessary for student participants. At the meeting, they shared how grateful they were for the campus upgrades made as a result from the 2018 bond measure. The bond helped ensure classrooms, performing arts, fine arts, science labs, support areas, and indoor extracurricular spaces have been brought up to current standards. As Director Ferenz noted, we have stepped up and taken care of our students from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. But we have work to do to support our students involved in activities from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. As promised to voters, recent bond funds were directed fully towards indoor facility improvements and not allocated towards any outdoor athletic or activity upgrades. They shared, rather than asking for voter-approved bonds or levies to improve outdoor athletic facilities over the last 50 years, Walla Walla Public Schools has leveraged community donations, booster club support, and basic ed maintenance dollars to provide extracurricular facility improvements. In fact, the last time bond and levy dollars were used for any outside athletic improvements on any campus was when the high school was constru originally constructed over 60 years ago. And despite generous community donations and other alternative funding streams, Walla Walla Public Schools outside athletic and activity facilities have not kept up with current program demand and league standards. As a result, most of the district's exterior, exterior athletic and activity components are in need of substantial renovations or improvements in order to maintain safe and adequate facilities according to their presentation. Following their report, the district developed an independent committee whose charge will be to review the matter and deliver recommendations to the district this summer. 20 parents and stakeholders representing a broad cross-section of participants and programming will meet regularly over the coming months to analyze their and report their findings to the district in late June. To learn more, you can find a link on our homepage to the coach's report and the committee's progress. Finally, I am so proud to share the incredible accomplishments of our students. Not only do we have seniors you know, being accepted at some of the nation's most prestigious institutions, Many more have chosen to enlist and serve in the military or Peace Corps, and we also have students being recruited right out of high school for employment. In fact, just last month, representatives from the Boeing company held a hiring fair at SeaTech's Advanced Manufacturing and Welding Technology Program. Eight of our students were offered positions immediately after graduation with an opportunity to earn up to $50 per hour within just six years, including a full benefits package and retirement. At Walla Walla Public Schools, we pride ourselves on the exceptional young adults we help proffer. Whether choosing to enroll in college, enlist in service, or land gainful employment right after graduation, we continue to deliver on our vision of developing Washington's most sought-after graduates. Thank you for your support, and have an outstanding April.